today I kind of wanted to walk through my hair regimen. As I mentioned in our intro video, I am transitioning to natural. I decided about a month or two ago that I was going to officially transition. Um, I do plan on doing kind of like a literally step by step um, video of my hair regimen because it's kind of difficult to explain, um, especially since I have two different textures in my hair and this all of it, my hair is doing its own thing. But this video is going to be um, all the products that I use in my hair and kind of how I use them, when I use them, and kind of the order that I do everything. So before I get started, I kind of want to give you guys a little check. Um, if you happen to follow, I believe you're on Instagram, I did post a picture recently that kind of was like a collage of where I began in my hair journey and where I am now. Um, just kind of give you guys a background. Whenever I started my hair journey about a year and a half ago, my hair was about here, right up above my shoulders. And my hair would not seem to grow. But then again, I was relaxing my hair regularly. I was straightening my hair every single week, sometimes multiple times a week. And my hair was just really unhealthy. And so it would here and it just would never, it just wouldn't grow. So I decided to stretch my hair um, or my, my relaxers just kind of just to see how much it would grow and see how healthy it would be. And then I plan to eventually get a relaxer again. But after some time, I decided not to. But for a lint check, I'm going to take this off. After a year and a half, my hair from the front is about here. And I'll turn around and show you guys where my hair is from the back. So this is my hair from the back. This is how much it has grown. So my hair is right there. That's where my hair is. And that's what you see. So like I said, my hair, my goal now is raw strap length. And after a year and a half, I'm... My hair is just beginning to graze the top of my bra strap. So my bra straps here, my hair is beginning to literally kind of touch it lightly. So hopefully in a couple months, I'm giving myself about, shoot, in about, and by the end of the year, it should be completely past the end of the bottom of my bra strap. So that's my goal. And so I'll um, be using the regimen that I'm going to show you guys um, to hopefully achieve that goal. So here's the regimen. I wash my hair three to four times. And I use three different shampoos when I'm washing my hair. My current shampoos are the Crema Nature Detangling and Conditioning Shampoo. So I usually wash my hair with this first because this is um, a cleansing shampoo. So I'll usually start with this first. And then I will go to the Elastic QP Mango Butter Shampoo. Let me get that in there. Yeah. So I use this next, and then the last one I use is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Sulfate Free Moisture and Shine Shampoo. So I use those three shampoos, and then once I'm finished, I will proceed to condition my hair. I usually mix two different conditioners whenever I'm actually conditioning my hair. Um, it'll either be two combinations. I'll either do the Aussie Moist Deep Conditioner um, and the Cantu Shea Butter uh, Deep Treatment Mask. I'll either do these two together or I do the Cantu and the Hair Mayonnaise. Now I only use the Hair Mayonnaise about once, maybe twice a month. But I either do these two together or the Cantu and the Aussie Moist. I will use two shampoos typically because for me, um, each, shampoo, each conditioner that I use, sorry, conditioner, each conditioner that I use does a specific thing that I love. So I prefer to just kind of combine them and kind of do like a miracle wonder on my hair. So that's why I use more than one. Before I apply the conditioner, I finkle to tangle my hair. So, but finger 
detangling is, is because I have two textures in my hair, I used to just use a wide tooth comb and just kind of comb through my hair and then apply the conditioner. But since I am trying to uh, make my hair healthier and also retain my length, I've learned to hair detangle my hair. So pretty much what that means is, for example, imagine my hair is wet and you have, you know, half of your hair is curly and then the other half of it is straight. I just take it and separate each all the sections and that helps kind of um, loosen up and get rid of some of those knots in a more natural way so that way you don't lose as much hair whenever you go through with the white tooth comb and also it's just a lot better for your hair since your hair is wet and it's a lot more fragile it's just a lot um, better and then after I separate it I apply the conditioner in either one of those combos so after I apply the conditioner I will usually sit around the conditioner for about one to two hours, just depending on what I have to do. After that, I will just go through and rinse out the conditioner. After I have dried my hair a little bit, I'll um, again go to finger detangle my hair. I'm um, again pulling apart those knots and tangles and kind of just re really focusing on the demarcation line in my hair, which is the uh, point in your hair where um, the curly hair meets the straight or chemically straightened hair. So I kind of focus on really that part um, as far as pulling it out and kind of just detangling it with my hands. Um, from there, I will apply my leave-in conditioner. Now, I have two leave-in conditioners, and I use the two different ones depending on my hairstyle. If I want to do a heat-free hairstyle, I will use the Cantu Shea Butter leave-in conditioner. And this leave-in conditioner is actually cream-based. So I'll just take, um, you know, a, a handful, a scoop of it, apply it to my hair, kind of work it in. Um, before I do actually apply the leave-in conditioner, I will actually part my hair into four sections. So one, two, three, four. I'll part it in four sections with my hands and then kind of just put it in little buns and kind of clip it with clips. And I kind of do that because it helps me really coat each section of hair with um, leave-in conditioner. And leave-in conditioner is really important because it helps strengthen your hair, it helps moisturize your hair, and it just improves the overall manageability of your hair. So I'll part in the sections and then apply leave-in conditioner. If not, I will use the Prima Mature Argan Oil Strength and Shine Leave-in Conditioner. And you activate it by shaking it up and then kind of spray it and spray it in your hair. Um, again, I use this for if I'm going to use heat and this for no heat. And that's the basis of my regimen. Um, that's kind of like the basic thing that I do every single time that I go to wash and style my hair. Now, depending on the hairstyle that I'm actually going to do, that depends on the products that I use next. So if I'm going to do a hairstyle that involves, that's heat free, if I'm going to do a heat free hairstyle, I will use the Cantu Shea Butter Curling Cream. Now I use this because whenever I do do a heat free hairstyle, it's usually something that involves a twist or a curl or perm rod or some kind of curling um, technique. And so I use this because this product here actually helps make your curls really defined um, and just makes them uh, just really defined and really healthy and really, really soft. So I, I love this product. For example, if I want to do this part, I'll just take it and it's just matching the sweat. I'll take it, apply the um, curling cream, apply that, and then next I will apply my coconut oil. So I do, for heat-free hairstyles, I do the curling cream and then the coconut oil. And I will just do that. I'll apply both of them, both of them on the section. And then after that, kind of comb through it with a smaller comb, kind of just lightly comb through it. And then begin to proceed to style my hair however I want to. If um, I want it to have more of a hold, I will use the um, argan oil or eco styler argan oil gel but I don't use this every time it kind of depends on what kind of hold I want on my hair 
So that's for heat free hairstyles. For um, styles that involve heat, after I do the leave-in conditioner, I'll just uh, proceed to detangle with a wide tooth comb. And I'll just comb through my hair very lightly. It's not very hard to detangle with this since you've already finger detangled. So kind of just go through it real lightly, kind of get all, all those little extra kinks that you might have missed. Go through it really quickly. And then after you do the leave-in, the comb. Then I take this brush. It's by Brush Strokes. Now, I can't remember the exact terminology for this br for this brush, but I know it helps um, in detangling. It also helps um, quicken the time of blow drying your hair. So I will take this brush as well as my Revlon ceramic um, blow dryer, and I will literally just kind of take my hair and kind of go through it, just like this as I'm blow drying. And we'll go like that. So that is that for blow drying. And then after my blow drying is done, I will apply my Tresemme Thermal Creations heat protectant. Heat protectants are so important whenever you're talking about um, doing a style that with, with heat. Um, depending on how your what temperature you keep your flat iron or heating tool or styling tool on, um, you'll definitely need a heat protector. Now, whenever I do um, do a now I'm in flat, iron, flat iron my hair, I will section my hair into parts. So, for example, I'll blow dry my hair and everything, and then I'll just take my hair and I'll pin this top part up, this top part up, and then I'll. Uh, Flat iron it in sections like this. And that way, the heat protectant, whenever I do do it, because I'll, cause I'll spray the heat protectant on each part, and this actually helps coat the hair shaft and make sure that, you know, you don't leave any room for any heat damage. So that way, you know, you, you, you get all the protection that you need. So I will part it and then spray, and then part it and then spray. So that's how I do... Uh, the heat protectant, and then I flat iron my hair with a flat iron by HSI. <clears throat> I actually purchased this about a year ago, and I purchased it from Amazon. It's the HSI Professional uh, Flat Iron. It's a ceramic flat iron that I absolutely love. So that's pretty much it for my hair regimen. I know I want to do this video because I know I've been asked a million times what I use on my hair, um, especially since I am transitioning. I know it's a lot more difficult to find the perfect um, hair regimen and pattern for your hair, especially since you have two textures. So I know for me, it's definitely been a difficult journey, but I think I finally found the staple products, you know, for, for that are perfect for me and my hair. If you guys have any questions or anything, just going to leave it below um, in the space below, and we'll be sure to respond as soon as we can. Um, if not, be feel free to visit our blog, www.lifeofalira.com. Um, we're on there talking about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, all of that. So you'll definitely get, um, a, a whole lot in one website. So check us out also on, um, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Life of Valera. Thanks, you guys. Mm -hmm.